take your weapon. Strike me down with all of your hatred, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete. Hello guys, gals, gamers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to discuss mods. And don't worry, the next vid is Zetas. And real quick, take note. I have my entire Sith team, or all my Sith modded, or Empire Tunes modded, or Crew modded, all people that I would use mainly in the arena are modded. So when I'm going through these mods, it may not be the best mod for that tune because I am sharing mods all across them. So if I want to switch during gameplay, I don't have to move mods. So what I have set up is, I guess the best setup with all your players modded so you can switch between them on the fly without having to switch mods because I hate switching mods. So what I have set up works. I can immediately switch and win my battles. And during the discussion, I'll point out, okay, I would actually be probably using this mod. Okay, I just wanted to put that out there. So pay attention. They might not be the best mod. And how do I know? I am not saying my setup is the best. I am not saying my setup is the only way. All I am pointing out is my setup, my methods work. If you want to use them, great. If not, great. Um, <laughs> anyways, don't. let's go see how my setup works. I am in sixth. My payout is in two hours and 43 minutes, and I have five battles left. Which means I have been in six, almost 24 hours. I have not moved. Now you can take it because my shard mates are just being friendly and don't want to hit me. You know, we like like Rumpel. Or my team is stout enough, viable enough to hold itself on defense now. And at the moment, yes, this is this is the all-around best team. Especially for defense. So far, what I've played with, this defense holds best. And look forward to videos coming out now where I'm going to start rearranging tunes. Taking somebody out. And maybe Scion. Maybe ST. I will keep, I'm thinking, Palp and Vader for sure. But I'm going to be mixing my Sis up now to see what else is viable out there. Because you do not need Scion. You can get in top. You can win without Scion. That is still viable. Scion was just a great added addition to our Sith, but he is not needed to win. Okay, anyways, with all that said, let's go look at the mods. I'm only going to go over this set here. This is who I am using in the arena from time to time, switching out depending on who I'm battling, because different teams sometimes require different Sith. I don't want to always use my main Sith team either. I get bored. So I want to switch players up and try something else. And I'm going to start with Sith Trooper. My Sith Trooper. Three pieces of gear 12. We'll just go that real quick. Oof, lots of armor. Some resist. And the hell steel. More tenacity. Strength, agility. I went ahead and put it on her. I'm not saying it's needed, but boy, does it make him stout. Of course, all my abilities are maxed. Now to the mods. How do I have him set up? 47.47 armor, 40.17 resist. And I can get that higher. So just where I'm at right now. As you can see, I don't even have sets of mods. 
one set of defense. So if I could get that critical chance mod and that tenacity mod and those two speeds, just imagine where I'd have this defense at. So anyways, I prefer all the armor and resist over protection. I had him 60k protection, 70k protection, and it does work. But when it wears off, it's gone. Just my method of playing. Okay, I'm, this works. I showed you earlier where my defense is at. I'm sitting there. So anyways, to the mod. Primary defense with a defense mod with a secondary of five defense. And I went ahead and got lucky and got some speed. He's not too slow, but Sith, Sith Trooper really isn't going to go. So um, it didn't matter. The speed just came with it. I'm happy with a defense mod with a primary of defense. And I got a secondary of defense with a 3% tenacity. All great defense additions. The offense, it just came with it. But that is what I've got right there. 21 defense in a secondary with a little five speed with a 1.2% defense. So this is a decent mod for some defense on him. I could probably do better, but like I said, my mods are scattered across the team. This is what I'm working with. And this is why I went with this mod, a primary of defense, a secondary of defense, and that 10 speed. Um, I do have mods in this triangle that would work better but once again scatter it out so now i've got it set up 29 defense in the secondary no speed like i said sit trooper I ain't worried about it. he's only 130 <laughs> he ain't going anywhere and a primary defense on a defense mod with a secondary defense great with a little bit of protection and 10 speed this mod would work good on thrawn this mod will work good on Scion, will work good on Crew, any of your tanky type tunes that you want to hire defense, of course. This will work great on. And last but not least, Protection Primary with 16 defense in the secondary, with another 2.46% defense in the secondary. Now, if you guys are concerned about how the flats work against the percentages I've got a vid on that it's an older vid but it explains how all those work the 16 defense there works differently versus that 2.46 percent if you want to understand on that I got a vid on it so there is how I've got my Sith Trooper set up no speed at all 130 tenacity try to get the 50 percent range now I had it my Sith Trooper like 110 percent tenacity at one time didn't work as good as the defense armor just for my plain pleasure 10% health steal we'll go back and look at that one more time 47.47 armor 40.7 resist and he tanks he is awesome no complaints out of my Sith Trooper as you saw sixth place all day long okay now we're just gonna go down I'll start at palp um All three pieces of gear on him, just because I'm a Sith, and that's what I wanted to do. And he needed it. The more health, the resist. I wasn't sure about this. I haven't seen a whole lot. I, I guess maybe his stuns are sticking a little better. But um, I just did it because, well, who else am I going to put on Thrawn? So anyways, to the mods. 233 speed pal. I want him fast. The faster he's going, the more he's stunning. The more he's shocking, the more he's doing his thing. <laughs> so, um, low armor, 23, 24, with a 30 resist. I've had him higher armor, and I've had him higher resist, but I didn't like how he was sitting around waiting to go. Um, I like it better on an offensive standpoint, because I've got a Sith Trooper. This is working great at, these, at this speed. 28k protection. A little higher tenacity. Like I said, I played around with potency and tenacity all day long. I've had his high potency as high as 120%. He didn't stick stuns any better. I'm going to go ahead and go with the tenacity. Maybe I get some defense out of it. Armor penetration, 20. All right, to the mods. Primary speed, of course. 
with a 30 speed, with a 7 defense, with a 1% defense right after that. A 12 speed with a 14 defense, that is in secondary, that is a decent mod with some protection. I went with the primary protection here versus the defense, as I wanted him faster, so I sacrificed some defense here, but I got a 15 speed in that secondary. Some offense and crit chance, just I was worried about the speed. He went ahead and went with the protection primary. Once again, these could be better mods here and there, but these mods are in place because I can just switch my tunes. If I want to go play with someone else, I don't have to switch mods. It works. 13 speed, no secondary defense or anything. But it is what it is. You got 3% protection here and some tenacity. So I counted those as defense mechanisms. Now, I would love to defense primary here for Palp because of course he needs it. But I do not have anything 16 speed like that with a defense. So I considered tenacity as a defense mechanism and went with a 16 speed. Quick chance and potency. Um, I, want him, I want my Palp fast. And I got lucky here and got a 13 speed with a 12 defense in the secondary with a primary protection. This is a great mod. Not super great or outstanding, but great mod. So there is my PALP, 233 speed. I'm liking it, it performs well. It's going just enough with that TM enhancement. My Darth Nihilus. Only one piece of gear. He tanks so well, I wasn't worried about the armor and all that. I went again and gained 5% health still. I don't know. I didn't have Scion yet when actually some of these gear pieces were put on. I might have had these on Scion, but believe me, Scion will be getting pieces of gear 12. 230 speed, right up there with my palp. I had him faster than my palp. I'm kind of liking it after my palp because my palp does get shots. Shots. My palp does get stuns or shocks. There's debuffs usually associated with that. So the drain force coming after that, I think, works well. Um. 33 armor, 23 resist. Pretty good overall for the Hylas. And 88% potency. Not that he needs it. It just comes with the way I've got the mod set up. 30 speed primary with a 7 defense in the secondary. Some tenacity and some protection. So some good defense mechanisms there in the secondary. 11 speed. Now my Nihilus, um, see how long that takes to say? Nee, so quick. There's no secondary defense there except a little percentage one. He tanks really well, so I was not so concerned with secondary defenses on him. Except I did get that right here. This is a good mod. If the primary was not offense. In my opinion, the protection or the defense right there, I just I like that. With all that in the secondary. But it is what it is. This mod could go somewhere else, maybe not like Palp or Evader with the offense. Like I said. I might work on that, but the way I've got them set up now, for the millionth time I said this, I can switch between my players without moving mods. 14 speed with 5 defense. I got lucky and got some secondary defense there. You can see where all my potency is coming from. A lot of these have potencies in them. Oh yeah, right here. Um, I wasn't concerned, like I said, with his defense mechanisms. I got 14 speed in the secondary to get him up to that 230 speed range. So I'm eating it at that potency up there. Just smack. It's not the mod I want here. But it's here. He's fast. And I probably chose my other mods with secondary defenses on someone else that needed it. Like Palp or Scion. As you'll see when we get into that. And a 15 speed with a 6 defense in the secondary. Of course, no primary protection on these circles. But, I sacrificed the protection for that 15 speed. And there you have it. Low protection. But, you know, when you got a Sith Trooper on your team, <laughs> I'm not needing all these high defense mechanisms on the rest of my team. Because, make them fast. Sith Trooper will take the hits. Alright, we'll just go over here and be nice. And, my Vader. And I believe his escape, no escape, did not need to be maxed. But Vader is my favorite character. It is a game. I maxed it. And I did give him this, because 60 armor, 60 resistance, or Vader. Like I said, when Scion gets all this, 
he's going to be a beast. Come on. A 232 speed Vader. And I can make him faster. And even when I switch out a Sith for an Empire and I'm losing speed, or I mean, excuse me, if I, Sith, if I switch out to crew and I lose my speed, I'm still going first. So anyways, anyways. 30 speed, no secondary defense. Vader tanks well. And once again, where's he at? I'm sorry. 40% armor. 32 resist. That is a beefy Vader. Especially at 232 speed. Oh, and 60k protection. So there's one where some of my protection is sitting. You will see he got the primary protections. <laughs> anyways, anyways, a 10 speed there. Nothing fancy. Like I said, he could be a lot faster. I do not have a lot of fast mods on him. But I want my other players to be fast as well. Vader is not the only player on the team. There's a 14 speed with a primary protection and a secondary five defense. And I like Vader has some offense. So this mod right here worked well on my Vader. Nothing fancy. 10 speed with a 9 defense. Everybody, your Vader needs to be fastest. Your Vader needs to be fastest. Do you know how many times my Vader gets taken out first? Stunned or ability blocked or something and he doesn't go first? Well, I need my other players on the up and up to be able to take their turns if my Vader does get taken out. And at 232 speed in my shard, he pretty much is going first. So there, 16 speed in the cross mod. No secondary defense. But I did get protection there, which was kind of cool. So, and I do view protection as a secondary defense mechanism. At 60k protection, he's doing well. And this is one of my best circle mods. Protection primary. Yay! It's not a speed mod, but 19 speed in the secondary. With a 7 defense. With a 1.56% defense. This is a good mod. And yes, you can have your Vader faster. I didn't show you my Vader. It could be way faster. If you're screaming fast Vader, that's fine. Make him faster. This is working for me. I like my other players to be on the up and up with that speed. Plus, with this setup, 40% armor, 32 resist. He takes it. Okay, okay, okay. Who's next in the lineup? Scion. He did get managed to get one piece of gear 12. And trust me, they're coming. I want to put them on here. I did go ahead and give him some armor. This right here will be nasty on Scion. This will probably go second. And then you can even give him health steal. So everybody's going multi-tool, multi-tool. But you know me, armor resist, armor resist. <laughs> it's what you want. They both are all viable. Of course, he's all maxed just because I'm a Sith. I'm not sure if his Zeta is needed in Arena. That's, you know, but in, in the pit, I am using him in the pit now. The Zeta works nice there. And when you do use that Zeta, his offense is nasty. Okay, anyways, to his stats. 250 speed. Since my last video on Scion, he was 242. I went up 8 speed. I'm sacrificing a little of the armor and resist because I'm trying him out at a faster speed. Of course, the more faster you are, the more you are going. 51k protection too. So I got a good amount of protection with that speed. Low tenacity. But I got him at the 40% armor. I was happy with that. His resist is hard to get up. When I got him at 4% armor at that 250 speed range, I was like, wow, I'm just going to go with this. He's tanking well, especially running with Sith Trooper because... If you were wanting your Scion to tank, you're probably going to want more defense, of course. And there's a 30 speed primary with a 7 defense. I gave my Scion some secondary defenses. He needed it. A 15 speed with a secondary 8 defense. This is a good, great, yeah, great mod. Not super great, great. Primary protection. 11 speed in the secondary with protection in the secondary and tenacity. This is great stuff. My playing method is not so concerned on critical chance. And my Sith, they hit hard. Not so concerned about that. This is a decent mod here. 16 speed, secondary. With an 8 defense in the secondary to go along with that primary defense. And some offense to go with it. This is a good mod. 
And I was happy with this mod, a primary defense on a speed mod with 13 speed in a secondary. This is where I got him to the 250 range and that 40% armor range. This mod right here did that. Those primary defenses in the cross, if you can get them fast, and look at that, 918 protection. Super great mod for my Scion. And of course, no primary protection. But I got the 15 speed there. No secondary defense either. So once again, this could be a little better. But I wanted him 250 speed. I like it. 250 is fast. It's nasty. And we'll look at it one more time. 40% armor, 22 four resist. So this is a good Scion. He tanks well. My videos show it. He's actually a little higher armor here than those videos and faster. So I'm speculating better performance out of my Scion now. 250 speed Scion. Woo! I love you, Scion. You're a bad boy. Just so you guys will know, I have been working on Vader's speed. I said earlier, it could be faster. And yes, it could be. Like this mod here is a 10. Well, I've been switching this mod to Scion. So there he is, 238. 32 for my team gives me 272 plus whatever I'm facing on the other team so right off somebody the GK puts my Vader at 280 so let's just show you 238 and my signs at 243 we still put sign faster than Palp and Nihi so this might work right here this setup here I just want to show y'all guys I'm working on that setup I wanted to throw this in real quick at the end of the video. I was looking through the game and uh, we got the gear pieces. And for 200 gems and refreshes, I got this. So I went ahead and did it. And I went ahead and put it on. His resist went up 6%. From that 22 to 28.4. His armor is 43.9. Oh, so 243 speed, Scion. With a 43.9 armor and 28.49 resist. With that weak mod. <laughs> okay, we'll move on. Okay, into a non Sith, but he is viable. I love him, and when I run him with my Thrawn, the Thrawn crew team works really, really well. Of course, Sign would be taken out, but I like to run different teams. I get bored. And your crew, you definitely want Scarred Max, okay? That's, and he has two pieces of gear 12. So, I noticed that the armor, the 5% health steal on my Kylo works really well. I like it. Plus, he's tanking. I like his speed. I'm in the upper two, te two teens range, 200 teens range, I'm trying to say. 220 be better. But... Like I said, for the 1800th time, my mods are spread across everybody. So this is what I got. Almost 40% armor. Oh, I was so... But he tanks well. And with Ron, I use Thrawn on my crew. So I'm always giving my crew more protection. So I sacrificed the 40% armor range and 30% resist range for the speed. Because you want those two-round stuns. Um, the way my method of playing is... With Thrawn, um, I've got videos on the Thrawn crew team. Go check it out. It works great. It's just the way I've got it set up. A 30 speed in the primary. No secondary defense there. They're on someone else. But I did get a 1.41 defense percent. And he doesn't have the high speed mods, but 19 defense in the secondary. He is tanking. He does need that. And I got an 8 speed there with some health and protection. So in my opinion... All those secondaries there were defense mechanisms. Now, this crit chance crap here on top, no, it's not what I want here. But I don't have to switch mods either. He tanks. When I do get that primary defense there, protection, it will be much better. That's what I'm shooting for. I would love a primary defense on crew here with a 10 speed and secondary. But it is what it is. I can switch to him and run with this setup, and he is working great. 8 speed there in secondary, 14 defense in the secondary, so I got some defense here, and plus you saw the square mod up there is 19 defense, so get the defense wherever you can, 
to replace missing it for that crit chance. Because what is he doing with crit chance? And a random defense primaries here. So, and I'm not using crew as much. But I did get seven defense in the secondary. And I do count tenacity as a defense mechanism. So this was an average decent mod. It's good enough for, for crew. For as much as I'm using them. Um, and to the final mod, of course, no primary protection. No secondary defense. And a low crappy speed. But he is 218. That is fast for a crew. Low protection. But like I said, when I'm playing my crew, it's usually with Thrawn. I do not put crew in without Thrawn. Just my method. So knowing that, when I have Thrawn with him, this setup is working. And speaking of Thrawn, here we are. And if you're using Thrawn in the arena, you need his ebb and flow. Ah, uh, Zeta. It, you just do. The counters, all that, it, it's needed. Anyways. And I did put a piece of gear 12 on him. He gets some health still. So. To the mods, to the mods. 254 speed. It's close to where I want him. I like him 257 and up. 260 is great. But 254 is working for just being able to switch to the mod set and play. He has a decent amount of armor and a decent amount of resist. So with his specials, it's working great. Of course, primary speed with a 6 defense and a secondary and a 1.6 protection. So this is an overall good mod. An 8, 9 speed in the secondary with an 8 defense with protection. Nothing fancy on my Thrawn. Now, good primary protection here. 14 speed, no secondary defenses. So I had to weigh that out when I went with the protection since I had no secondary defense. There's a good one. 11 speed, 18 defense for your Thrawn. And no, I would not want I offense in the primary here. And it does help him hit because Thrawn has some good pew pew hits. He, he will take you out with his pew pew. Um, but 11 speed here. I was focused on trying to get him in that 250 plus range. So yes, this is not what I would want here on Thrawn, but it is working. And last but not least, no primary protection once again, but 14 speed in the secondary with a six defense and offense. So with that setup, and it's 2,500 defense, he does smash sometimes. His PvP will hit. And he's 39.6, right there at 40k range of protection. Just good enough. 32 resist, 24 armor. And there is my Thrawn. Who is next? Dooku. Uh, I like Dooku, Zeta Dooku. It does help. Um, all three pieces of gear 12. Now, I made a video of the best three pieces of gear 12 on a Sith. This is before Scion. I would probably put these on Scion, but I've been waiting desperately to do my Dooku. So I love playing with Dooku. Um... Yeah, yeah. You're like, you wasted that on Dooku? I had fun. If you don't want to put him on Dooku, don't. Like I said, there will be more Dooku videos coming out. I put a Dooku video out before Sign came out. He's viable in this setup. And you'll see how tanky I've got him. Now, in the video that I put out on Dooku, he was 38 armor, 38 resist. Since I do have mods scattered all across my team, so I can just switch on the fly... I lost that. It ended up becoming 36 and 36. But for Dooku, that's still high. And I'm happy with it. I can switch to my Dooku without flipping mods and run with it. 259 speed. I want my Dooku faster. I would like him 260 plus, of course, 270 range because he performs better. He'd have anything for protection. But at a high speed rate, he goes a lot and steals health and yada, yada, yada. 100% potency. It just is the way this happens to be set up. I have two potency mods on him, a 30 speed primary. And I got an 8 defense in the secondary there. And I want some offense on my Dooku because he does hit a lot. A 10 speed there. No secondary defense, but I did get some protection and tenacity and health. Now there is a defense mod primary with a 10 speed. I figured this needed to be on Dooku. Uh, no secondary defense. 
but it is what it is. My mods are where they are. Eight speed. See, nothing fancy. I could make my Duke a lot faster, but I got plenty of mods faster than this. But they're on other people that need to be fast. And I might not have been using my Duke as much. If I do start using Duke a lot more, I can always move mods. And trust me, he's easy at 275. I, oh. And when he's fast, if he's going before Vader, you've really got a fast Dooku. Right here, primary tenacity. I didn't need any more potency. You can saw it, 100%. So this is a good defense mechanism mod. Nine speed and secondary. Eight defense and secondary. And this is where all that potency is coming up. 4% right there. And of course, I got a high defense here. 25 defense. This is good. Nine speed. And I would, of course, take the primary protection over that health. I always do. Even though it wears off, it adds up thicker because you're at a 20% range there. Okay, there's how I have my Dooku set up. Working great at 36, 36. I like that. I was happy with 38, 38. And I can go back to that. I believe it was just one mod that changed that. Um, but I'm sure I'll be running my Dooku with a tank. If I'm not, we'll figure that out. But 36, 36 on your Dooku... It's nasty. And I do believe, last but not least, my Zidius. And he ended up getting a piece of gear 12, believe it or not. He needed more health. I'm not using my Zidius enough to concern myself with more gear 12 pieces. But I do like to use it as I like how fast you can make them, and I like the expose. And it's not even fast. I can make him 275 easy well as with Dooku. But under the palp and running with Vader and all that TM going on, this 250 range seems to work pretty well for my Zidius. He's not high on armor, 33, 17 resist, very low. He is spongy. And I believe in the right environment. And when I figure that out, there will be a place for Zidius. 30 speed. Nothing in the secondary there, it's at 1% defense. And these are average mods, 8 speed, and this is a slow mod, but I got 9 defense in secondary. A primary protection with a 9 speed there. See, nothing fancy, because I've not been using him as much. But if I want to flip over to him, he's modded and ready to go. And nothing super fancy, but I can run with this. There's a 13 speed, nothing in secondary defense. Now, I did put his primary defense on him because he needed it. Nothing fancy on the speed. Eight speed. And last but not least, a nine speed with a 15 defense. See, these are just average mods. You got the point with my mod set on all the more primary tunes. But if you want to run a Zidius and I want to run a Dooku, they're already modded and the speeds are good enough and I can switch right to them and play with them without having to figure out better mods. But expect me to get this speed to 260 and above here in my Dooku with mods and everybody else. I am shooting for that. And there you have it. I've gone through the complete team. Now I will do mods and other players that I've got out there, Maul, uh, Sass. I have not found a, vi a viability for Sass, so she's not even been anywhere in here. I'm looking to do that now that I've gone through my Rumplegasm with Scion and Rumplegasm and my reworks and Palp and Beta and my team is viable again. And once again, your Sith are viable without Scion. Your Sith are viable with great mods and low Zetas. Um, okay, this has been a long video, 28 minutes already. Don't forget to come by and check out Rumple Discord. Lots of good Sith talk going, over, going on over there. Well, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Your feeble skills are no match for the power of the dark side.